Good day everyone, we are the G7, and together with my teammates, we're gonna present our project venture along with our product as a compliance to the course GEE-003 or General Elective 3. Our venture name is G7, derived from our group number in this course. Our venture aims for the betterment of the environment and reduce the amount of plastic waste and encourage our customers to exchange their plastic waste for usable and eco-friendly products. So without further ado, I present G7, team members and strengths and abilities. First is Antipasto Leonard, COO, which possesses analytical and strategic skills. Next will be Aspala Emerson, CTO, which has technical skills. Next will be myself, Maria Rigando, CEO, which possesses leadership skills and adaptability. Next will be Mamaril Mark Jefferson, CFO, which has productivity and accountability. Last but not least is Navarro Robert Kevin, our CFO, which has technical and analytical skills. So before anything else, let's start with the problem statement. In context, the problem usually occurs in largely crowded places such as in schools, stations or terminals, parks, markets, malls, and the likes. So the problem also hindrances the flow of sewages and canals in those mentioned crowded places. The problem is the growing number of plastic waste, particularly plastic bottles. The production and disposal of these plastic bottles can also contribute to air and water pollution. According to Lao, 70% of the Filipino population lacks access to sanitary landfills and disposal facilities, leading garbage to flow into the oceans where they can harm marine life and birds that mistake the plastic for food. In addition, plastic bottles can take hundreds of years to decompose, and they contribute to litter of the environment for a very long time. So as the alternative for addressing the said problems, people need to have a proper waste management as well as promote the three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle. Another solution is the emerging recycled infrastructures in the country to properly recycle and repurpose the plastic waste. The said alternatives are quite helpful for the environment. However, most of the time, people do not bother their waste uh, to get their waste to proper disposal due to lack of trash bins in the area. And at the same time, people who recycle these plastic wastes are still investing their time on manually acquiring it from various sources. So our customer uh, will focus on the vast majority of the ones that suffer from plastic waste. Uh, these are the community people. It affects their surroundings such as blocking of sewages, polluting rivers, and brings waste pollution that causes floods and contamination of water. So the next few slides regarding the impacts of these problems will be discussed by Mr. Antipuesto. For the impact, first is the emotional impact. Most Filipinos simply discard their plastic waste everywhere. They don't address the issue because it is common to them, and they won't earn a reward from it. But due to this common practice, Filipinos suffer from its environmental impact, and they feel awful about the excessive amount of waste in their environment. Next would be the quantifiable impact. According to research, the nation generates 7,000 metric tons of plastic waste per day. A thorough strategy is required to solve this problem. Therefore, strong governmental direction and action are required, according to Yulo Loizaga. He also noted that 20% of the nation's plastic waste end up in the ocean. So, our solution for this is Revendi. Revendi is a reverse vending machine that accepts water bottles as payment. Our mach machine uses the latest technology to scan the bottle before exchanging it for points. 
This increases accuracy and ensures that the bottles can be fully recycled. Currently, the customers are addressing the problem by cleaning their surroundings, throwing the plastic bottles in the trash, or sometimes recycling it. With this solution, customers will be encouraged to recycle and throw it in the vending machine. Since our solution offers customers the benefit of gaining points, depending on how many plastic bottles they decided to put in the vending machine. The details of our offering consist of, first, card that will be used to save up points and exchange those points. Next is the redeemable items like eco-friendly tumblers or straws. And lastly, easy access to reverse vending machine. The business will work in our country since there is a lack of sanitary landfills and stricter regulations on the construction of new ones. Plastic pollution in the Philippines continues to be a major problem. Producers, merchants, and waste management businesses are urged to collaborate in order to create ways to lessen the plastic pollution in the Philippines. This is our value proposition canvas. For value proposition, the product which is vending machine, the game creator is ease of use, eco-friendly, and card-based point system. The fan relievers which really helps the user to lessen their problem. The other side is the customer segment. The gain is to improve the health and save our environment. The pains which most of us facing including unsegregated waste management, blockage of receivers, and water contamination. In customer jobs, the installer encouraged to properly dispose their plastic waste and recycle it in our vending machine. This is our business model canvas with nine building blocks, including the problem, solution, and others. So for by filling out the business model canvas for plastic waste vending machine, Reven D can gain a better understanding of how the machine will create value for customers, how we how it will generate revenue, and what resources will be required to make the machine a success. Problem. One of the main problems with unsegregated waste is that it makes it difficult to properly manage and dispose of waste. When waste is not separated into different categories, it cannot be easily sorted and processed, which can lead to waste contamination and the inefficient use of resources. For example, if organic waste is mixed with plastic waste, the organic waste cannot be composted and the plastic waste cannot be recycled. In our customer segments, recycling, recycling ventures and community people. Recycling ventures. Recycling involves collecting waste materials and processing them in order to turn them into funds and new products. This can help to conserve natural resources and reduce pollution. And the other is community people. Effective waste management in the community is important. That is why a reverse vending machine was formed and offering proper waste management can help to reduce pollution and promote public health and safety. Our unique value proposition Accusation of points and an easy way to get rid of plastic bottles with rewards. The unique value proposition of a vending machine that dispenses plastic bottles is that it can provide individuals with a convenient and accessible way to dispose of their plastic waste by offering a simple and straightforward way to recycle plastic bottles. These vending machines can encourage more people to dispose of their plastic waste properly with points and rewards, which can help to reduce the amount of plastic waste in landfills. Solution A vending machine is that dispenses plastic bottles can be a convenient way for individuals to dispose of their plastic waste. This vending machine by Revendi typically work by allowing users to insert their plastic bottles into the machine where they are then sorted and recycled. Reven D vending machines also offer rewards or incentives by giving points for users who dispose of their bottles in the machine. 
So the next part in the link canvas that we will discuss is channel. Channel is defined how your company communicates with and reach your customer segment to deliver your value proposition. The vending machine will be placed in a crowded place such as MRT stations, bus or jeepney terminals, schools, park, market, and malls. These places that have been mentioned are a good place to put the vending machine because there are people who just throw away their plastic bottle whenever they want to put them or leave them. So the next one is revenue streams. The company will earn money by selling the revenue vending machines to the LGU. Another way to earn money is to sell the plastic bottle collected in the machine to the companies that need them to recycle and make a new product. So the next one is cost structure. The cost structure of revenue vending machine that dispense bottle will depend on the variety of factors including machine part cost. So this include the parts that are needed to build the machine. So the next one is plastic bottle collector. So this is the salary of the person who will collect the plastic bottle in the machine when the machine is full. And the last one is redeemable items. The next one is key metrics. It contains measures like how many plastic bottles a vending machine can hold and what items are available and will run out in the machine. It also contains how many points you need to claim the specific item that you want in the machine. So the last part in the lean canvas is unfair advantage. This includes environmental impact, community convenience, and community accessibility. The revenue vending machine will be used by people easily. And the vending machine will be, will be placed in a densely populated area so that they can easily access it. This vending machine will definitely help to have a sustainable environment. So that's all for the Lean Canvas. So how does your business model differ from your competitors? Our revenue is a reverse vending machine it contains different eco-friendly products in exchange for plastic bottles. That way, we are convincing the customers to start using alternatives for plastic-made products. At the same time, how to collect plastic bottle waste. So thank you very much for tuning in. That concludes the end of our presentation. I do hope that Red Band B will be utilized in the future. If you want to save the environment, go green, go Red Band B. Bye for now.